everyone welcome to virtualbrigade.com in my previous video I have explained what is transport zone and how to configure the transport zone from the NSX manager and what are the different types of transport zones are available in the NSXT environment in this particular video I will explain what is uplink profile and how to configure the uplink profile from the NSX manager so with that let's get started uplink profile basically defines policies from the hypervisor host to NSX T logical switches or from the NSX edges to the top of the rack switches. So assume that we have the transport node with four uplink, uh, four physical network cards and what is the configuration that you want to apply on the physical network cards is defined in the uplink profile. So the uplink profile includes the settings like NIC teaming policies. In NSX T manager you can configure the failover order NIC teaming policy and also you can configure the load balance source uh, as the uplink uh, uh, uplinks NIC teaming policies and you can also configure the active standby configuration for your physical network cards and you can define them in the uplink profile and you can also define the transport VLAN IDs to have for the uplinks and what is the default MTU setting that you want to apply on the physical network cards so uh, the uplink profiles are uh, uh, uplink profiles allows the network admin or the uplink profile allows the consistent network configuration across the multiple transport nodes multiple transport nodes like ESXi host KVM host and the NSX edges and the uplink profiles are basically the containers for the properties or the capabilities that you want to have for your physical network adapters so uh, once you define the uplink profile it is just the container uh, of the configuration and once you apply the configuration uh, to the physical network cards so the physical network adapters will have the NIC team policies active standby configuration and the transport VLAN IDs and MTU settings applied to the physical network cards so instead of creating the individual properties or the capabilities for your each individual physical network card you can basically create the create and specify the capabilities in the uplink profile and then you can apply the uplink profile to your transport nodes like ESXi, KVM and the NSX edges. So the NIC teaming policies are not supported on the KVM host. So this is one of the uh, limitations of your KVM host. So in this particular uh, version NSXT 2.1 the NIC teaming policies are not supported on the KVM host and you can use the default uplink profile for your bare metal edge nodes so the NSX manager has a few default uplink profiles and you can use the default uplink profile to configure the bare metal edge the standby links are not supported for the NSX edges deployed in the VM form factor if you have deployed the NSX edge in the bare metal uh, form factor you can use the default uplink profile but if you have deployed the NSX edge in the VM form factor you need to create the custom uplink profile and you can apply the custom uplink profile to the NSX edges and in the NIC teaming policies you have the two options to choose failover order and the load balance source so these are the two uh, NIC teaming policies that we have in NSXT 2.1 and the failover order basically uh, uses the uses the uh, higher order physical network card as the uh, as the active uplink uh, and the, there is no uh, there is no actual load balancing will happen when you use the failover order and the load balance source basically uses the source MAC address and create a hash and then use that particular physical network adapter to send and receive the traffic from your transport nodes so that is about the uplink profile let me connect to the uh, uh, NSX manager and will show you how to create and how, how to create the uplink profile so log into the NSX manager as an admin and then expand fabric and then click on profiles from the uplink profile tabs you can click on add when you click on add you need to enter the name for the uplink profile enter the brief description of the uplink profile and as I said there are two different types of NIC teaming policies that you can apply to your uplink uh, physical network cards you can either use the failover order or the use uh, load balance source and then you can create the lags if you have the lag, uh, lag configuration created on your physical net, uh, network adapters you can create the lags and active uplinks what would be the active uplink you can use uplink 1 or uplink 2 and what are the standby uplinks and the transport VLAN ID if you want to enter any transport VLAN ID you can enter here and the 
MTU setting that you want to apply to your NSX edges or uh, ESXi host or the KVM host. Once you enter all of these details and you can click on save to uh, save the uplink profile. So as you can see, I already created the edge uplink profile since I am using the NSX edge in the VM form factor, the default uplink profile, I cannot apply it. So I have created the custom uplink profile and the ID has been generated by the NSX manager for the uplink profile and the teaming policy that I have used is a failover order and the NSX edges deployed in the VM form factor does not support the standby uplink. So I have left the standby uplinks blank. And the transport VLAN ID is 0 and the MTU value is 1600 for my NSX Edge uplink profile. And there is also a default uplink profile. Uh, so as you can see, we have the NSX uh, default uplink host switch profile that I can use while I am converting or configuring the ESXi host and the KVM host as the transport nodes. And uh, so the default uplink profiles, you cannot delete or edit the default uplink profile. You can always create the custom uplink profiles by clicking on add. And the NSX uh, default uplink profile has the teaming policy failover order by default. The, the failover order is the default NIC teaming policy. And the active uplink C is uplink 1. And the standby uplink C is uplink 2. And the transport VLAN ID is 0. And the MTU value is 1600. So this is how you can create the custom uplink profile from the NSX manager. And we have seen what is an uplink profile, how to create the uplink profile from the NSX manager. So this is all about the uplink profiles. We have seen how to create the uplink profile and how to configure the uplink profile and what is uplink profile in this particular video. I thank you for watching. Please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you.